Welcome to my back porch. So today I'm doing a puddle pour. I'm doing it through this mesh shelf uh, for two reasons. I wanted to kind of see what happened if the paint got kind of broken up and distorted a little bit as it was dripping down. And also I wanted it to kind of splash. And I think it's about a 10 inches above the uh, canvas. And these are just little uh, six by six canvases. Uh, second thing is I've been working with the Amsterdam acrylic pearl white and pearl violet and not having any luck so I did some reading on them and found out that they need to be in a thin layer on top of a darker color so I decided I would layer them in be layer the pearls in between the colors to try and see if I can catch some of that uh, you know, reflection off the dark colors, plus the black background. Um, plus, I made them thinner than I normally make my paints. So the colors are uh, on the thin side anyway, but the pearls are extremely thin. Uh, and I think that that's what caused the fractal uh, parts to happen um, which I was very happy with I like the way it turned out so uh, the colors I'm using I have a kind of a light navy and a dark green and a lime green and a lighter blue, probably like a robin's egg blue, but more on, well, there you go. There's the, there's the, oh, I don't have the robin's egg blue. I have cobalt and then light navy. Okay, and, okay, so here I go, finishing up the second one over there. Now, I will do a slight bit of tipping, um, but most, for the most part, these paintings, they spread out on their own. I think the one on the right, I didn't have to tip at all, but I got interrupted with a phone call on the one on the left, so I ended up having to tip it just a little bit to make sure the paint wasn't too thick to where it wouldn't dry properly. So I think I got, uh, I, I couldn't tell you if the fractals are coming from the splattering motion or the thinness of the paint or going through the mesh or combination, but I'm gonna try it without the mesh because it's just, I'm not sure that it's a necessary part of it. Um, it did help me to keep a good 10 inch distance above the canvas. So I like that part of it. I also like the color choices in here, the way the, basically it's two blues, two greens, and a black and a white plus the two pearls. Okay, so these are actually 8x8 eight eight canvas, not 6x6. Uh, six six. I think we're just about finished with the pouring. Yeah, okay, so I'm flipping it around to see if it looks any different in a different, you know, how it looks if it's in a different position. I think I was thinking about being done and then I realized I hadn't used the torch. Yeah. So I'll end up torching it and tipping one of them a little bit. I didn't have any additives like silicone or um, dimethicone or alcohol or anything in the uh, paints. And here are the close-ups. Some really beautiful and amazing um, shapes and color combinations. I definitely would try this again on a larger canvas. The only negative, I'm not really crazy about the fact that I only did two spots on each canvas. I'm kind of an odd number person but I really wanted to give it room to spread which did work out well um, 
but I think it would have looked a little more balanced had there been had there have been three uh, puddles on each canvas. So next up will be the still pictures and if you like the video be sure to click the thumbs up like button. You can share this with someone if you think someone might be interested. Make a comment and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.